Did you know that your GPS has an error range of 100 meters? This might not be a big deal at sea, but when you are navigating in a narrow channel or shallow waters, this can be catastrophic. Plus, other than the error, you never know when both your GPS will fail you. So before you run aground, today I'm going to teach you about parallel indexing techniques. Make sure to hit that follow button so you'll get more videos like this. First, in a chart, we need to find a fixed reference point that is easily recognizable in radar. Buoys and other floating objects are not included because they can drift away any time. Also, shorelines within drying heights are not reliable because these might be above the water by the time you are in the area. Let's choose this. Now in our passage plan, we know that within these cross track, our ship is safe. So let's measure the distance from both these lines from our reference point and their true course. The shorter distance will be your not less than line or NLT and the farther one your not more than line or NMT. They literally mean your distance must be not less than this, else you might run aground. Or if you continue going more than this distance, Distance, then you might also run aground. Combining the two, we now know that as long as we are within these lines, our ship is safe. Let's see this in practice. As long as this coastal point stays within these lines, I know that I am safe. Even if my GPS failed and I can't see my route line, if this point stays within my parallel index lines, I know that I am safe and I will not run through this dangerous wreck. Using this, with just a glance on your radar, you are confident that your ship is within safe waters. Before one more important note, if you learn something, click that repost button and comment deserve. Bonus note, you may also use this parallel indexing technique during collision avoidance because you just can't avoid collision but you risk running aground. So using your PI lines you know just how much you could alter your course to starboard or how far you can go off course and avoid collision while also not running aground.